Hello, boys and girls. Monday and Tuesday's lesson in grammar are on introductory words. An introductory of words are words you use at the very beginning of a sentence that are kind of added to the sentence where the sentence could stand alone without them. Like, painting is my hobby could be a sentence. But if somebody said, is painting your hobby? You could say, yes, painting is my hobby but you would need a comma after the word yes. Just like if somebody said, do you think I have a messy hobby? And you said, no, I don't think I have a messy hobby. You would put a comma after no. A comma shows a pause. Use a comma after yes, no, well, and order words like first, second, next, and finally, like when we do sequence and ordering, when they begin a sentence. We're talking about when these words are the very first word in a sentence. Then you put a comma after them. But you never put a comma after then when it's the first word. For example, yes, comma, I love to finger paint. First, comma, I need paper. Next, comma, you cut the paper. Then you color it. You don't put a comma after then. Just to give you an example, okay? I want you to work on that. And when you do your work, you will be doing try it out and on your own. Try it out has just four sentences. You're going to rewrite these four little sentences, but put the commas where they're needed. And remember, we're talking about introductory words. And one of them doesn't get a comma. You could always find your information right here. When you do on your own, there's a little script. You have to write the whole script. I don't want shortcuts because this is a learning experience. You have to write it all. Those of you who don't will have to do it again. You need to write everything and put the commas where they go and remove commas where they shouldn't be. There's four mistakes. Maybe they're missing, maybe they're wrong. Correct the whole script and write it the right way. That will be your Monday lesson. I'm putting in your Tuesday lesson here because you will be doing this tomorrow. You will be writing a paragraph that tells a friend how to do something. It could be tying shoelaces, making a bed, um, parking a car, um, planting a flower in the garden, anything, but you're using order and introductory words, and you're making sure you're putting commas after them when you write your paragraph. You don't have to read your instructions to a partner or have anyone do that. You're just writing the paragraph, telling someone how to do something, and making sure you're using introductory words with the correct commas. And this will be for Tuesday. It's all on one video because I want you to watch this video to remind you about when to use introductory commas for when you do Tuesday's activity too. Do a good job, boys and girls.